Hello, my name is Visor. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is a test run. I did play the original game, but this is a remake, rebirth, re whatever. The original game was in Flash, and this new version has a lot of interesting features like the ability to continue, uh, some unlock stuff, and overall, I, when I saw the that they were making another one, I thought, why are they making another one? Why not just expand the original? The original is great. But now that I see it, I can sort of understand why they did it. I think the original, if they did another expansion, sort of, sort of like the, uh, was it, Wrath of the Lamb? Yeah, they could probably add some new content, but there's a lot more changes here than just new content. So don't get me wrong, there is, in fact, a lot of content here. This was probably about two or three more characters that you can unlock, but I haven't unlocked everything, so really not much I can do about it. This is definitely a new item. I don't know what it does. I think overall, they maybe like triple the number of items in the game compared to the original Binding of Isaac. So there's quite a bit of stuff. For the most part, the game controls just like before. You can have user keyboard. You can't really use your mouse anymore. So I don't know if that's a big deal for people. I think a lot of people just use their keyboard anyway. But, you know, whatever. Uh, you can also use your controller. Now let's go, uh, I don't know whether I should go in there, but whatever. Ah, that's a problem. So these new blue flames are, uh, well, new. The only way to get rid of them is with a bomb. I don't really want to use a bomb this early since there's a chance for a secret room. So, it's full of spiders. So, I lost part and a half for pretty much no reason. Now, I'm not sure what this following baby does. I actually haven't gotten him before. But he doesn't seem to have any sort of special shots. So, maybe he scales with my shots. Currently, it seems like he shoots... Uh, maybe two shots for every three of my shots. So, we'll see. And that, of course, is a trinket. I believe that gives us more keys. Ultimately, I think I have a problem with trinkets in that I don't really know what half of them do most of the time. I usually have to use a cheat sheet or whatever, and this is not really the time to be using a cheat sheet when you're trying to record something, so we'll see what happens. But I would say, of the uh, cheat sheet websites that I've seen, I really wish some of them organized by, by color. Because a lot of times, I just see an item, and I don't know, know whether I want to pick it up. So organizing by name doesn't do anything for me. I don't know what's called. That's why I'm, you know, looking at a cheat sheet. Anyway, looking at this structure, uh, we can probably find the secret room. Should follow the same rule as before. It's the room with the most connections, usually, though not always. So we traded a bomb for three coins. Not really worth it, but that's how secret rooms work. You never know quite what you get. Usually it's worth it. Not in this case. Oh, yeah. Plus, new in this version, the hole in the wall doesn't go away when you reveal the secret room. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, this is, uh, well, not a new boss. Larry Jr. is pretty much a staple, so we'll kill that as soon as we can. Um, really, the AI seems about the same. Strategy is about the same. Big difference, I guess, is the art style. It has these, uh, I think it's 16-bit style. I think it's pretty cool. Ooh, I think it's a pentagram. Yeah, damage up. Not bad. So that's pr pretty much it for the first floor. Now, I'll admit, this is actually all post-com because... Uh, originally, I recorded this thinking, you know, I'll play for a little bit, die, and then show off some challenges. Uh, well, that didn't happen. I had a really good run. And unfortunately, I'm actually using a new method to record my video, and I made a mistake. Didn't record the audio. So, yeah, this is all post-com. Seems a little awkward. That's why. Don't get me wrong, I like post-com. I don't like post-com of a live commentary footage. Like, I have no plan in that case. I think that's the pact. I think, if I remember correctly, the pact is awesome. Yeah, it is the pact. Nice. All right, so overall, our damage is not bad. You know, it's presentable. It's not amazing. It's not a brimstone or anything extremely bullshit, but it's nice. It's reasonable. Doesn't seem like uh, the little baby that we have skilled with me, though. He doesn't seem to do anything special, so... Meh, whatever. I probably should dodge better. Oh, so we did get some spirit hearts. There's also a new type of hearts in this, uh... In the rebirth. I think they're called dark hearts. At least, that's what they look like. Basically, when they die, you have the, uh... What's it called? The Necronomicon effect, where everything on the screen takes damage. That's interesting. So, it's sort of like, well, it's very devil-like, I suppose. It's basically the devil version of the spirit heart. Instead of, you know, you do damage by taking damage, basically. That's boring. You just get a bunch of bombs, I think. Yeah, that, that is incredibly boring. But hopefully we'll be able to find a secret room with it. Anyway. Let's 
keep on looking. Now, if you notice, this is actually a big room. That's one of the new things in Binding of Isaac. It's not always the one little room. I think that actually makes the gameplay pretty interesting. At least it breaks down the monotony and you definitely have new room types that you just can't have because they're four times as big. You can also have long rooms, which can be interesting. Ooh, steam sale. They'll totally take the steam sale. Now, notice in the top left, there's a donation box. Basically, if you donate, I think, 100 gold, the shop upgrades and you can get more items. It is cumulative between runs. So, yeah, I didn't donate anything this time, but I can always donate something next time. All right, there we go. Let's see. Well, I guess I've pretty much covered everything, haven't I? We got the treasure room, we got the shop. Uh, check whether there's anything left, but I don't believe so. And that was more stupid damage. Oh, there is a room to the top left, but whatever. We can probably take on this guy. Monstro again is an old boss, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping we could show off something new. But, uh, yeah, whatever. This tier is pretty powerful. We're doing reasonably well against him. I mostly am just taking some stupid damage, but yeah, that happens. Ooh, Spirit Heart. So Spirit Heart works as the same as before. Go to next level, you gain a heart. Um, now, the devil rooms have changed. It's not always just devil items. Occasionally, you can get those dark hearts I talked about earlier, as well as red chests. In this case, I don't think I want any of these. I don't. I think the first one's Ghost Baby. The middle one is uh, the cat head that gives you like one health, a bunch of lives. Not very useful. I don't know what the goat thing does. I think it's supposed to protect you from getting hit from above, but that doesn't seem to be it either. Anyway, the goat. I said there was one room left. We might as well go explore it. Let's see. I mean, it might, could be a special room. You never know. They did add some few new room types in this uh, game. There's like a type of room with two locks on the door. It's, it seems to be different rooms each time. One time I found like a screwed up bed. Oh, it's Lust. I had a place with a screwed up bed, but you could sleep on it and heal, so that wasn't too bad. Another time, it's often like a dice room, and when you touch the middle dice, you like, all your items get randomized, which can fuck you over or be really awesome. Ultimately, the more items you have, obviously, the better off you are. Anyway, though, nothing this time, so, well, there was lust. So, let's move on. I mean, having extra heart's not bad. All right, um, yeah, these are still largely the same. Still fairly annoying. Some of the new enemies, I think, are pretty irritating, though. Like, uh, you remember the sort of pop out, the skull that pops out and starts shooting at you? If you shoot at him when he's in the ground, he doesn't actually take damage. Imagine something sort of like that, except it moves. That is super annoying. It's not the most annoying thing in the new game, but you can actually meet it pretty early, which makes it pretty probably the most annoying thing like not objectively just it's really annoying when you meet it i guess i could totally get that chest if i wanted to the bombs for it you know what let's do it i mean what else am i gonna do with all these bombs well i guess look for the secret room but this chest is probably almost as good right nope pheromones there's a lot of uh Weird new pills. I'm assuming, if I had to guess, I would guess Pheromones charms anyone close by, but I can't really be sure. And I'm fairly sure charm is a new effect. Basically, they won't fight for you. Anyway, let's go into this uh, boss room. You can see it's too long, so there should be, you know, two enemies. I wonder if it's a replacement for the old style where you have, like, an extra large map and you have two bosses in a row. I don't think... I mean, I haven't seen the extra large map, so maybe it's a replacement for that, but I'm not sure. Overall, this way is... You have more room to dodge, but there's still two bosses, so... I think it's fairly even. I'm not sure if it's a, makes it easier or harder for us. Uh, I guess harder since I keep apparently walking into stuff, but... Really shouldn't be too bad. Now, this boss, I've noticed... If you, like, get close enough, it'll just sort of pop out. But if you wait too long, they're completely underground. You have really no idea where they are. I don't know. I think I'm supposed to get close enough so they keep popping out, but I don't feel safe doing that with two of them. 
So, that's my hesitation. Oh, come on. Oh boy. They're both completely underground now. There we go. I'm not sure if they popped out due to just a time constraint or what. But, uh, one down. There we go. Obviously, this is the first new boss we fought for the game, so that's pretty interesting, I guess. Again, more health, more damage. It's all good. Probably should re-explore the rest of the map since well, there's still stuff here. We didn't actually get into the shop or the treasure room. We probably won't ever do the sacrifice room. I don't particularly like them unless there's a lot of free health on the map. And there's not. I'll take this room, though, because this is a, basically at max. Oh, I can't leave. Is that always like that? I don't remember. I thought in the original you could always leave the room even if there were spiders, but that might have been if the spiders pop out a chest. Not really sure. Now, when I did the test run of the original game, honestly, I thought that was a rather mediocre video because I didn't explore half the stuff in the game. This should be pretty good. I mean, I have pretty good experience with Binding of Isaac, and like I said, this ends up being a pretty good run. Huh. There's a... Another new boss, or not new boss, new enemy. It is a floating cloud anus. Because, why the fuck not? Anyway, this is pretty much a dead end. What do we get? Luck down. That is not good, because I think Isaac starts with a luck of one. So I have a luck of zero. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Other than, you know, I have less luck. Whatever. Oh. So these are sort of the things I was talking about earlier, except this is not the new annoying version. Admittedly, I still managed to hurt myself on them, so... Yeah. The newer version uh, is... Well, just more annoying. Anyway, I don't have enough gold for the treasure room, or the uh, shop. But I can totally go to the treasure room. I want... Uh, if I get that gold, that would be pretty good. But where would I get the gold? I would have to find a secret room, pretty much. Oh, now, notice that battery there. That's a new item. It basically allows you to recharge your spacebar item immediately. But that's not too bad. I guess I felt a need for to get that heart. But uh, we'll see whether I get enough gold for the... Whatever that fly is. If I had to guess where the secret rooms are, I would, of course, go for the areas with... Uh, three sides blocked. Granted, none of them seem very easy to get to. Like... The treasure room south wall is blocked by a thing. I can't jump that gap. So really, there's no way to check that room. I can still check here, though. Might be it. Nope. All right, there's a... No, I can't really check that south room either. But I can check it from the big room here. Nope. All right, then the east top wall. Perfect. Can we find just enough coins? Uh, good thing, well, a little more than enough coins. Good thing we have Steam Sale. Pretty nice item. Alright, so we're gonna get the fly. Again, it's one of these things where I don't really know. I'm fairly sure that's a new item. I just don't know what it is. Giant spider and fly. Now that I think about it, I still don't know what that does. I, so when I play through the game, I don't think I ever spawned any giant spiders or flies. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, we're done with this floor, so... Why not? I think we'll have enough keys with the, uh... Thing that I have. I can start donating some of these coins, probably. But, uh, other than that, I guess we'll just move on. Still not sure what that baby does, though. Maybe it just does a normal shot, because that doesn't seem to do anything special overall. Anyway, so... Um, there's an arcade. Arcades have been switched up a little bit. It's not always the same three things. See? It's not always the uh, slot machine, gambling guy, and the uh, blood bank. We may gamble a little bit here since we're so low on health. Probably don't really want to get more cash. Good. That's health right there. We have too many bombs in the end. We'll probably come and just blow them all up. Because why not? Now, this is, of course, also an old enemy. Though, I think this one's AI has changed, because honestly, I don't see them shooting shots nearly as much as they used to. They used to shoot the poison explosive shot, and they haven't got a single one. I think maybe they do it so it's harder to 
bait them into blowing up a wall and revealing a secret room or revealing a way out. Anyway, obviously we got a spirit heart. We don't want to get it now because why would we? That's not too bad. Alright. Uh, well, not really much I can do about that. So we are on Catacombs 2. Not sure which order things go in. I don't think... I'm not really sure when we fight Mom. I mean, I beat the original game, beat the chest and all that, but I... The ordering of that stuff I, was something I never really paid attention to. I don't think it's the Catacombs, but we'll see. Oh, you might have... Oh, oh, those things are annoying. So those things on the ground are sort of like the spider version of bomb flies, except they're ground spiders. And two, those uh, cannons, those don't sh stop shooting. They'll just keep on going forever. So, fairly irritating. Those are not explosive bats. They're just annoying as black bats. They have a charge attack and it's well, fairly annoying. But we did okay this time. Okay. Treasure room. That's good. And a pill. Paralysis. You. It's exactly as it says. You stop moving for a bit. Terrible item to use in the uh, middle of a fight. Anyway, it looks like we got holy water, which is... Eh, it's okay. Decent passive. It's not... It doesn't really synergize with anything we have, but... It's not bad. Notice those uh, giant mushrooms around? You can blow them up and... Often there's an item in them. They're sort of like the old tented rocks. The tented rocks are, I guess, consistent. Anyway, though, let's uh, just beat Larry real quick. Rapidly reaching the point where your level one bosses are just normal enemies you run into. Anything else here? I mean, we could blow those up, but it's probably not necessary. Oh, that one's your shot. But overall, yeah, it seems like the shot rate for those guys are much slower than before. Or maybe I misremember. Who knows? Two keys. I can probably afford it. Oh, totally pays for itself. Um, two coins. The shop's not super useful. But... Eh, we'll see. Oh, another key. Anyway, what else is there? Oh, so these are our new enemies. They're spiders are directly on the wall. They come in several varieties. Some of them just shoot straight forward. Some of them shoot three shots at once. There's another one that shoots brimstone. And that is the most frightening thing. Mostly because I don't actually notice them half the time. One, they're new. And two, they're on the wall. So, I don't know. I have a hard time seeing them half the time. I mean, they're not super broken. It's just... I think largely it's just because I'm not used to them. Anyway. Quite a bit of rooms we could explore. Guess we'll go check those out. Overall, I really like this game. It's Binding of Isaac. Again, but better. So, what they're not like. Yeah, originally I thought it was weird that they did a remake. It's a fairly new game, but this, this change in game engine is totally worth it, in my opinion. Now, I think and this is the point where I don't remember whether I'm fighting moms, uh... Mom next, so I think I go looking for one gold, which I'm totally going to use in the uh, treasure room. I think I'm considering whether I should take the spirit heart. I believe I end up taking it. Hmm? Maybe I don't. I seem rather hesitant though. It is options. Options is pretty cool. Basically, when you kill the boss, you get a choice between two items. Pick one, the other one obviously disappears. These we could get the heart. And let's donate the rest of our coins. You can also bomb out coins, but it really it doesn't really make much sense in my opinion. Oh, looks like I do end up going for the spirit heart here, which is a mistake. Because well, you don't actually fight moms early. I, I don't know why I never remember the order. I have never paid attention. Pretty much the only order I ever remember is fight mom, fight a normal boss in the womb, then fight mom's heart. And after that is cathedral and chest. I guess technically you could do, uh, see for, oh, this is a new pill. I never used it before. It doesn't really reveal anything initially, but 
we soon see what it can do. I believe by... Yeah. So what it does is sort of like uh, X-ray. It just reveals where the holes are, and you can just walk straight through them. No need to use bombs or anything. Obviously, it only works for the level, but still, it's pretty cool. Probably would have been better on the next level, but... You know what? You had a new pill, you gotta try them out, right? Of course, it still does work on a very special room. The Super Seeker Room. So, lucked into that. Fortunately, it's the Tick. Which I don't know whether I want or not. I kind of want more keys. I mean, the Tick's not a bad item, but... Eventually, you stop getting it because you want to get the Polaroid so you can go to the chest. I'm not really at that point in the game, but... Whatever, let's not get dependent on it. Anyway, this is half of a new boss, half of an old boss. The one running diagonal is totally an old boss. And the, uh... Oh, I do keep it Spirit Heart. Cool. So we get to pick between Mom's Purse, which just gives you a bunch of pills. Or, I think, dog food. Totally just taking health. The pills are interesting, but since my luck is down, I'd rather not depend on it. Admittedly, I guess it would reveal what a bunch of pills are, but it could also completely screw me over. Alright, the depth's one. So, this sh Yeah, here comes the brimstone versions of them. Complete dicks. Oh, there's also a really cool new baby. It's the brimstone demon baby. It is brimstone, so it's pretty freaking awesome. Probably the strongest of the uh, little babies. Plus, it charges as long as you hold fire, so... You can sort of just spam your shot, then finish it off with the brimstone, I believe. Oh, I hate these little bastards because they teleport so much. But, you know, they're dealable. Now, I'm not opening the other chests because they could have troll bombs, they could have spiders. There's really no reason to make this harder for myself than it already is. So we'll get rid of these guys. For, uh, I don't. I really don't like these. It's, I mean, I know you can deal with them if you get behind them, but every time they turn, it becomes another pain in the ass to deal with. How often do you do the just shoot from the side, you'll hit them in the back head thing? I don't really think you're supposed to, but whatever. Now, if I had, like, poison or some sort of bombing effect, these guys would be so much easier. But I don't. So, I have to try to get behind them. Now, I see... Monty? What was the cat's name? I don't remember. Guppy? Guppy! Guppy's tail? Monty's totally the dog from Binding of Isaac. I'm really sure that increases uh, chest spawns, gold, and uh, red chests. Which I guess could be considered a downside, but whatever. I think it's, for the most part, pretty good, so... Take it. I mean, it didn't cost me a heart, so why not? Maybe screws with your luck. I'm not really sure, but whatever. There are more keys in this room. I may get them. I mean, I do have plenty of bombs. Well, I have five bombs, which is more than I have keys, so it might be worth it. It might not. We'll see. Uh, I think you've seen this enemy already, but this is fundamentally a new type. It sort of has different stages, and it has a jumping version. It sort of reminds me of the normal uh, smiley-faced enemy that follows you and their head pops off. Except fatter and has well, more stages. Oh, another Larry Jr. Not that they're a big deal at this point. Come on. There we go. Alright. Uh, have we found anything in this floor yet? I don't think so. I don't think we found any of these special rooms yet. Hopefully we'll find something next. Oh, these annoying shooty guys. I think these, however, stop shooting. It depends on which way they're facing, basically. If they're facing forward, they'll stop. If they're facing to the side, they'll keep shooting. I think chocolate just randomly makes you poop everywhere, so I'm not going to get that. I will, of course, bomb out to get two bombs. That's just a straight trade-up. Really no reason not to do it. So, I'm still not sure what that spider thing does, because uh, it said, was it giant spiders and flies? I don't think I've benefited from... I haven't made any, though, so it's definitely not a spawning ability. I'm really not sure what it does. Maybe it makes you invincible to them? I don't know. Because I've taken damage and I haven't spawned anything. And have I... Ooh, that's new. So, those go invisible. But they're... Ah, uh, the fire. They're mostly dealable. Ooh, plenty of coins. You may consider sacking uh, more coins to shop. Though, there, it, I for understand there is a limit. Like, you can't, like, 
what's the, uh, there's one item that gives you just 100 uh, coins. You can't just get that and just donate everything into the shop and upgrade immediately. But we can probably get a few in. Assuming that's the shop. That's probably the shop, I think. Yeah, um... Slot machine's not bad. Especially since I don't have a uh, spacebar item. Plus, it potentially could give me more hearts later on. I know my luck is down, but... What else am I going to do with all this gold? Other than donate. I mean, I have plenty of health. I don't think that pill is good. I'm not really sure. Oh, it's jammed. I can't donate any more coins. I could bomb it, but that won't help. I'll end up knocking coins out of it, which is totally not what I want. Anyway, let's see anything else around. Well, there should be two more rooms to the top left. Or, well, at least two more. I guess, wait, at least four more. So we'll see what those are about. Oh, more of these, uh... They're not Larry Jr. I forgot what they're called. But they, they sort of remind me of them. But we've got a treasure room, so there's that. Come on. There we go. Not really sure if those uh, oops can spawn items. Ugh. Well, we got a spacebar item, but I think Thermocrate, that's a terrible spacebar item. All it really does is poison everything in the room. Oh, but did you notice it? Spacebar items now sort of show how many times you can use it. Since the uh, slot machine can be used universally, it doesn't have a bar. But that uh, mom's pad totally had a three bar. Because it means if you beat three rooms, you can use it again. Unlike the original game where it always showed six. And you sort of had to guess how many rooms you had to go through. It was extremely awkward if it was a item that refreshes after four use. So, definitely like the new system. I am not sure what this is. It says faith up. So I'm assuming it does something. But I'm not really sure what. I am not sacrifi sacrificing myself. You have no idea how long it would take to get the item, and i it's not worth it in my opinion. Could use more keys though, just generally speaking, so. Ah, I was hoping we get a secret room on the right side. We did not. We're sort of reaching that point where using bombs for secret rooms may not be worth it, because I'd probably want to use some of my four bombs. So, we'll see. There's a lot of candidates for secret rooms. Only four bombs. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's worth it at this point. So, let's, uh, oh! So that's a variation where it jumps in the air and leaves blood everywhere. Absolutely hate it because it's annoying. It shoots stuff. And leaps, pretty much. You know, all the annoying ass shit you could do. Yeah, it looks like there are six potential places where the secret room is. And I have four bombs. Technically, I tested one of them, so it's five secret places and four bombs. And all things considered, I probably won't make it. So, let's not try to find the secret room. I'll probably just end up out of bombs. So, I mean, I guess the secret room could be full of bombs, but uh, I don't particularly like risking it. We have enough keys to get some you know, stuff. At this point, I might as well get this gold. I mean, I think I have enough keys for the next level, so it should be worth it. Obviously, since the shop is broken, I can't donate anymore, but eh, honestly, that's okay. The only reason I want gold, of course, is for the... Uh... Oh, Monster 2. So, of all the uh, bosses I've played, only one of them has been new. That's a little disappointing. Because I'm fairly sure there's uh, quite a few new bosses. But, whatever. We can beat Monster. Our shots are still, you know, pretty good. They're not super special, but they do their job. They're not particularly weak in any sort of way, so it's all right. Now, Monster from Mercury cannot shoot his big laser up. So he's fairly easy to deal with. As long as I don't walk into it, I should be fine. And now I know there are some enemies that can shoot the brimstone up and down. So, you're just being careful in general, but should be fine. Well, it would be better if I, you know, dodge some of the shots. Because he always shoots one when he lands. But I keep taking it to the face. Like that. I'm only going to burn through all my spirit hearts at this rate. Alright, cool. To be dead. Come on. God damn it. Oh. It's in there. Okay, so those two both give uh, HP up. The other one was uh, called bandages. 
It's just more HP, so whatever. I have no idea what that is. Looks cool. Oh, shit, I have a shield. I'm assuming it blocks stuff coming from a direction. I'm assuming only shots, because if it can block enemies, that would be overpowered. It'd be like the uh, shield from Splunky, which was pretty strong and incredibly dangerous. The, you know, the best items in Splunky, basically. Anyway, so at this point, well, this is actually sort of the more default behavior. I was donate a bit. Maybe we can get some more coins. No, my luck is down, so who knows? Two keys. I'm totally okay with that. I mean, two keys is generally enough, but I totally feel better with four. Anyway, these are Rubens or something? I don't remember what they're called, but they are totally uh, a level one boss that you can fight. I don't think that one even showed their health bar. Oh, the skeletons. These are a new enemy. I fucking hate them because there's not really much drop on their uh, bones, and they seem to be very good shots with them. And they seem to be pretty fast bullets, so I find them a little irritating. Um, these are an old enemy, but I still don't like them. They don't turn as fast as the dudes, so I guess they're not as bad, but I, I just don't like anything that I can't damage. That's really what it comes down to. I'm not saying they're bad game design or anything. I just don't fucking like dealing with them. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, more of them. Fantastic. I think the best way to deal with them is to be really far away from them and then shoot them back. Then. Because you're far away enough. Far, bleh, because if you're far away enough, they don't actually turn around when you're shooting them in the back. The problem is to get in that position can be tricky. Often I find it easier just to shoot at them from the side, but we're doing okay. Just uh, an idiot's last one, which is, I don't know, it's just awkward. Anyway, so still need to find the boss room. I think the treasure room too, yeah, still need to find the treasure room. Uh, these are, yeah, not a new enemy. Still kind of annoying though, because I'm totally trapped in a corner. Alright, almost out of here. The fundamentally, this run has... It's gone alright. I think the shield is interesting. But, uh... It's not, it hasn't been too interesting. Like, my shots aren't anything special. I really don't have any special abilities. Can't even fly. But, uh, we'll see. <sighs> totally get Brimstone spider right here. Like, I find... I'm still not used to looking for them on the wall. And I noticed them way too late. Little of Fortune. Might as well take it. We can at least blow it up. And look, came out ahead. So, let's see. Uh, more of these. We can either run in there or try to bomb it. And more fucking spiders. So, again, waste of a uh, heart and a half. Happens. Anyway, still need to find the well, important rooms here. Uh, these aren't too bad. I say as I get hit by... Probably one of the easiest enemies to beat. There we go. Alright, more stuff, but we'll need to find the treasure room. Or mom. Fairly sure there's a mom level. Maybe. I don't know. Save the heart for later. No reason to use it now since I only am missing half heart. And this is not a new enemy either. They do seem fatter to me. I don't know if that's just me. Now I'm fairly sure Brimstone is not blocked by the shield, so I'm just trying to take it nice and easy. We have enough keys for this, so we totally should get that. I get it without knocking things onto the uh, bikes. Alright. Oh, this is a new enemy. I'm fairly sure those are spectral tears. I mean, they look like spectral tears. But since usually when I fight them, they're in a room without, like, terrain, so I can't really be sure. Either way, just trying to kill them real quick. Come on, where are you? Yeah, fairly sure that's the spectral here. Seems like it totally went through my shield. Uh, that's a... Oh, it's a homing anus. Yeah, I've never seen this before, but, uh, totally deal with that. Got enough keys for this. Ooh. Not sure I want that, but 
that's Bob's brain. Basically, it spawns every once in a while when you hit something. It goes with your shot, and if it hits something, it explodes. The problem is it totally splashes you, so if you get too close, when you shoot someone with it, that'll do you in. That's Tiny Planet. It's an interesting ability. Um, you know, I'm not really going for a good score run here anyway, though, so I just grab it to show off what it does. Basically, Tiny Planet allows tears to orbit around you. Very interesting with the uh, tier modifier trinkets, like... Uh, there's one modifier that makes your tears spiral. With this, it becomes incredibly hard to figure out where things are. Now, the downside of having the tears spiral around you like this, it's much harder to control. Like, I hit those things in the back of the head. Generally, I feel more like I have an airy effect, and I just sort of run around and hope for the best. With the Bob's Brain, I technically do have a directed attack, but Bob's Brain is kind of slow anyway. Ooh, that, uh, the blue map is really cool. It is a... Uh, Basically, the secret map. If I can get enough coins, they'll show off where all the secrets are. Just need, you know, three more. So it will be fine. I can get more coins, though. Well, we could get that uh, there, but I would rather not have to. Instead, this should be safer. Now, Bob's brain, unfortunately, doesn't work on terrain. It only works on enemies. So I can't just use it to blow through walls. But, oh! Yeah, here's where I get the coins. Cool. So we also found the uh, uh, boss room. Pretty sure it's mom. So all we have to do now is go in the shop, buy the map for the secret rooms, check out the secret rooms, check out the secret rooms, and go from there. Any excess gold at this point probably could be donated, because after this, I believe, is the womb, which means... Well. Oh, also, totally did not know you can blow those things up. So, cool. Fortunately, I can't actually donate any of the gold because the thing's still broken. And in here, we get more coins, which is... I mean, it's good for the slot machine, which is why I grabbed it. But it's... eh, not that interesting. And that bomb did not get the other two like I was hoping, so... Basically, a fuck ton of gold right now that I can't really use other than for the slot machine. The space bar item obviously doesn't have a recharge thing, so... Me taking the little battery would make no sense. Hey, there's a super secret room right next there. Do you have something good in there? It is a broken magnet, which allows you to sort of suck things close to you. But I think I would prefer the uh, rosary bead. I'm, I'm pretty sure that gives you more spirit hearts. All right, fight up. mom. And I'm really not aiming at anything. I'm just trying to dodge the best I can. Yeah, technically, if I learned the pattern, it'd be... I could probably, uh, get these to focus something, but the problem is, it, you know, your momentum screws it up. So, I don't know, I find it fairly hard to deal with. Then we'll just try to spin around and not blow ourselves up. Ugh. I really should be able to see those mom's feet coming, but I still miss them sometimes. But yeah, there's Bob's brain again. We should be able to hit it. Hit. There we go. Strangely enough, there wasn't a choice here. Like, I'm pretty sure I have options, but it only gave me one thing. So, whatever, we took it. Alright, so we should be in the womb. I don't think I've beat Mom's heart yet on this run, so... It should be interesting. Fairly sure we... No? I think that's a new enemy, too. I don't think we had... I don't think they were at least that quick before. No, 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 wait. Totally had those enemies. We don't have the new version which shoots at us. That's right. Anyway, deal with these. Totally triggered the uh, dark heart. Problem is, on the left side, there was a blood trail. Totally can't see it on the red background. Oh, here's the... What boss was this? This was the uh, third level boss, I believe. We were fighting him in a double room. So deal with him. Not too bad. We already did half damage to him. Really, we do need another Bob's brain or a way to focus our shots. I think each shot does about maybe a tenth of his health right now. Big red shots anyway. There we go. So, there is the boss. We can fight him or we can keep exploring. There should still be a treasure room. Yeah, there's no more shops, but whatever. I do have some coins, so if I want to heal up, I should try to use the slot machine. It is proving to be ineffective, though. 
Pretty fly. That's not bad. I mean, pretty fly is uh, pretty good. Oh, there we go. Heart. But we'll probably get some more later. Ah! Now, these are a variation of the old enemy. I mean, I'm sure they had these uh, pus things that pop out and shoot at you. They just seem more difficult to deal with. They, like, pop out of the ground and shoot immediately. Or maybe I'm not used to them, but they do feel more difficult to me. Alright. I kind of wish the Bob's brain worked on the back pole, but... Maybe it's too powerful then. I don't know. Alright, balls of steel. That's not bad. Almost like getting help. So that thing eventually will break the chain. So just kill it as soon as you can. That's why they will chase you across the room. I don't know whether I really want to go into the... Oh, the secret room to the south. That's what I was doing. And it is greed, which means I will get even more gold that is not useful. Got a really good hit with Bob's brain, though. So there's that. Yeah, a dime. Well, I guess I can do the slot machine more. But, uh, kind of a boring secret room, all things considered. And remember, my luck is still actually down. I've never got luck up, so... It's not really working all that well. Range down. Great. That's what I needed. Oh, here's the moving head thing. So at this point, they're really easy to deal with. Plus, this is not the invincible version. This is the one that shoots five shots. They're fairly easy to deal with. Two Geminis. Should be pretty good. Just need to get a good Bob's brain. Like that. That's a pretty good one. Honestly, I don't think Gemini is too difficult to deal with, at least at this stage. I mean, even early on, the shot from the little baby is so slow, you can totally deal with it. I think uh, I had some problems killing it with uh, Madeline, because she has a slow move speed. But, yeah, that happens sometimes. Oh, oof. I'm pretty sure that spinning head on a fleshy mound, that's a new enemy. Anyway, trying to get to the super secret room. And the slot machine continued to not do anything for me. I guess the key's okay. Ah, there's a heart. Ah, no wait, those don't move either. Never mind. I thought it would be the uh, what version I hated. But nope, it's just the normal one. Pretty sure that ch increases chance of uh, red chess. Like, I think it makes the gold chest into red chest, but I have enough coins. I don't really, or enough keys. I don't really worry about it too much. I'd rather make sure I get stuff out of a chest as opposed to get troll bomb or other nonsense. But wait, can you get troll bombs in a gold chest if you open it with a key? I hope not. That would be a dick move. So it's not as bad as getting a gold chest in a gold chest. That absolutely pisses me off. You know what? Super secret room is almost here. Alright, let's see what's in here. Spirit heart. I can totally save that because we just beat Mom. So this should be a normal boss. We can kill it, come back, and get the spirit heart, and benefit from the extra health. There's the boss room. We don't. We haven't found the treasure room yet. Still, not going for that. That's well. I can get it if I can fly, which I just do have the uh, hangman and it's a bunch of coins, which is freaking worthless. But whatever. No, what's that? I can see forever. Eh, okay. Main benefit being you don't have to bomb into the secret rooms, but we already have all the secret rooms, so we'll have to save it for later. Oh, bunch of coins. See if any of this is worthwhile. Obviously, the top right is a... Oh, wait. That's not an icon forever. What is that? Luck down? Nope. Pretty fly? Cool. Double pretty fly is pretty good. What is the yellow one? Balls of steel. Excellent. All right. So, we'll take the I can see forever. I don't want two luck downs. My luck's negative enough. I think in the original, there was a bug with the... Uh... Why does... Oh, that's right. I'm using this slot machine. There's a bug in the original where... I think if you, your net luck is negative enough, you actually get luckier? Something like weird with the formula? I believe so, anyway. Oh! You know what's really awkward with uh, Tiny Planet? Shooting things that's just out of range. Oh, this guy's super easy. I have the shield. All I really need to do is just block him with my shield. Bob's head. It is a spacebar item. It allows me to throw a bomb. 
But realistically, I have enough bombs to find secret rooms. And two, I already have Bob's brain. There's really no reason to take Bob's head as well. Alright. Isn't there no... That's right, I don't find a treasure room here. I thought there was a treasure room on the womb always, but I guess there's not. Right? No, no, I did. Bob's brain. What am I thinking? We chose not to take it. So, let's fight the boss. Ah, the fallen. So, the last time we fought in these longer rooms, I said, I think it's sort of, yeah, there's two bosses, but since you have so much more room to dodge, it's fairly balanced. What breaks that is the fallen, because they have brimstone attack, which can extend rather far. What's worse is four little mini fallens. That is freaking frightening. And I'm getting my ass kicked. Pretty badly. Pretty much just trying to dodge and wait for Bob's brain. Uh, yeah. This, this is going pretty badly. Like I said, it goes all the way across the room. The, the benefit of having a long room is completely lost. It's just all downsides. I am trying to use the slot machine to give me something. It is not really working. I'm fairly sure... That, what is that pill? That's another I can see forever pill. Yeah, that's not going to do me any good. Uh, I think that's a devil buddy, which I assume means he takes all my... Or devil beggar. I assume he takes all my hearts, which I would rather keep. So let's take the other thing, which unfortunately is a book. Now, books could be useful, but I... Oh, increased damage would be nice, but I really need health. So I'm going to keep trying to use the portable slot machine. But it continues to fuck me over and not give me a goddamn thing. There we go. One heart. And a key. All right. So there's still the issue of the spirit heart. Really, at how low I am, I need to grab all the heart that I can. So, grab that, and then we'll go to fight uh, Bob's heart. But overall, this uh, last, the fall, didn't pull to kick my ass. So, we probably should be in trouble at this point. However, you do have to remember the shield blocks shot. And the reason it didn't work against the Fallen is the Fallen mostly shoots Brimstone. So, we still might be okay. If you think about it, what's next? Mom's heart? She is all shots and spawning shit. If we can kill the spawning shit, we should be invincible. We just sort of need to make it there. Okay, this is uh, one of the big oops. There's, the boss is actually not that version. It's called Dingle. And it's sort of like a powerful version of these little ones. It has three dashes and it uh, shoots crap at you. I absolutely hate those because they you can fight fairly early. I think it's a level one boss. But they move so fast early on that they're kind of hard to deal with. I mean, at this point, I have Mini Mushroom and I have increased move speed. And I'm still just barely dodging them. Damn it, poop. Trying to... Uh, Go to the poop so I can get the key. I may not absolutely need the key, but it's a thing to get, so why not? Alright, so this continues to give me completely worthless stuff. I, mean, I guess I should be happy that it keeps giving me coins, which allows me to keep on gambling, but I get anything worthwhile. And we're done. Okay. So, nothing for those. Oh, this is also one of the new level 1 bosses. I forget what they're called. But, uh, Eh, fighting them at level 1 is kind of annoying again, due to the move speed. But, okay, fairly easy to deal with at this point. I say, though, I did take quite a bit of damage. You know, let's go into the secret room. It is all the bombs. All the bombs I could ever, ever need. Now, I know I had a I Can See Forever card, but at this point, there's no reason to use it. I could probably just bomb out every single side. And then grab... The 99 bombs. I'm fairly sure it maxes out at 99. Alright. Pull up that guy too. Oh, he's full of spiders. I guess they're not always full of good stuff. But, you know, moving on. <laughs> Single spider. Or, er, fly here. The hoof, I believe, makes you run faster. I think I'd rather keep the rosary thing, because I'm fairly sure more spirit hearts, that's cool. All the poop. These aren't too bad. I'm really more worried about blowing myself up. But yeah, they, they don't shoot anything and they don't really dash. They sort of just jump around, so fairly easy to deal with. And 
Good. Ooh, chest. Now, if I remember correctly, some of these blocks, the ones that look like, well, an anus pointing upward or maybe an urchin, they blow up if you try to destroy them, so I wouldn't do it. Like the inverse of the tinted hearts, I believe. Anyway, come on, Bob's brain. Yeah, at this point, since I don't have a controllable directional attack, I'm rather dependent on Bob's brain. Alright, cool. Super secret room up there. Oh, more of these things. I guess they're not too bad since I have a shield. As long as I have the shield in the right direction, I should be okay. And I still get hit. Okay, there we go. Uh, paralysis, new. No. And out of coins again. Uh, this is totally worth it. There might be hearts. Or might be more coins, which we'll try and see what happens. Eternal Heart. Now, unfortunately, this is a mom level. Mom's heart level, which I'm fairly sure you can't leave. Ooh, Dark Heart. Anyway, I'm fairly sure you can't, like, leave the room after you beat it, so we will have to take this. We'll probably lose it before we can, you know, keep it, but... Whatever. Ooh, all the anuses. Luckily, the anuses mostly just shoot shots, so... At this point, the shield should be pretty good against them. Or I can also tell the shield or the tiny plant does allow your shots to go through rocks. So the terrain here is not a big deal. Alright. Don't need to find the treasure room. Oh! What are these called? Blastopods or something like that? A really, really pathetic enemy. You, you can get them as a boss, I think, early on. And they're just so easy. I mean, like, Duke of Flies is pretty easy. These things are just pathetic. Alright. Uh, got the keys for that. More coins that aren't useful. And a bomb, which is totally not useful either, because we have max bombs. Alright. Absolutely nothing. Oh, those things. And I totally hurt myself with Bob's brain. They're all dead, I guess. So there's, there's that, but it's... Eh. I would rather have kept that heart. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely Womb 2, so we're definitely going to be fighting Mom eventually. Not going through the uh, birdie door, because, again, trying to keep the heart. Here comes the dashy ones again. Try my best not to lose that. Uh, they're actually called eternal hearts, now that I remember. Which is awkward because they're totally not eternal. Unless, you know, you do the right thing. More, they're more like potentially eternal hearts. Anyway. Let's see. Um, and I totally lost the eternal heart. Awkwardly. Now this thing, I have to wait until the head pops out. The problem is, since I don't really control my shots... Like, oh, his head popped out. I cannot focus him at all. So... I was hoping Bob's brain would get him, but okay, whatever. Oh! Here's the boss version of the poop I was talking about. This is Dingle. So he whistles, summons more, which is not a big deal. He also shoots some stuff, which, again, is not a big deal. What's irritating is when he starts dashing. Like, no, that's not it. Seems to fake out his dash sometime as well. Here he goes. He dashes three times fairly quickly. And I have, again, mini mushrooms, so I actually move pretty quickly. So he's totally a pain to deal with early on. Anyway. Uh, come on. Temples. All the temples. I guess as long as I hide it with my back behind the rock, I'm pretty sure they can't actually hurt me. Come on. Alright, I think there's maybe two, one left, none left. Blow these up. There's a, I mean, with 99 bombs, I really should just be blowing everything up and seeing what's inside. I'll probably find an item. Oh, this is a new enemy as well. Not the dangling tentacle things. Mom's hands. They sort of teleport you out of the room, and you know they're coming because you can hear the laugh. But they're fairly annoying. 
Because, you know, if you can teleport a room, it resets the room, and if you're not in control, that's... It's a terrible, terrible attribute. I've gotten items that do that before, like, uh... I think it was a cursed charge shot. It was a charge shot, but it also... I completely screwed you over, because every time you took damage... Well, randomly when you took damage, you would teleport. So, yeah, I tried to fight a mom heart with that. I ended up going in with, like, six health. Ended up losing because I just kept teleporting out at the very end. Did not work for me. Anyway, I guess we're done here. So let's fight Mom's heart. First, of course, we need to take care of the other crap. Because the lasers totally don't care about my shield. Here we go. Oh, another eye. And another eye. I hate those eyes. There we go. So at this point, realistically, all we have to do... It, it, I do like the new um, Mom's Heart pattern. At this point, I haven't realized that I have a goddamn shield if these gods don't do anything to me. Because I think this is way more challenging than the old Mom's Heart. I think people used to sort of spam bombs where stuff spawned. And I don't know. I kind of like this Bullet Hell pattern. But, uh, yeah, with the shield, it doesn't matter as much. Pretty much just spamming my stuff here and waiting for uh, Bob's, Bob's brain to spawn again. Alright, should be done here. And here is where it gets interesting. First of all, looks like I was wrong. You can totally leave the room. But two, I could go to the chest and end the game. Or I can go into heaven. I didn't think I could, but uh, totally doing it. I thought you had to beat Mom's heart once before you can, but whatever. Rubber cement, I think that makes your shots bounce or stick. I don't know which one. I'm assuming bounce, because sticking doesn't make any sense. I would just, if my shots hit something, I want them to die. Holy in heaven. Fundamentally, the boss in heaven is not too hard for us. It's making it there because the enemies here are a bitch and a half. And I can't really focus my shots still, so I sort of just die randomly. I do think they have a new music score for heaven, which I think is pretty cool. Don't know about you. Yeah, totally enjoy the new music. Anyway, oh, another troll bomb. At least it's not the one that follows you. I don't know whether there is a treasure room in heaven. I don't think so, but I'm not really sure. Oh, look for it. And of course we're fighting, I think this what? Is Gertie? Gertie the big one. Is this Gertie Jr. maybe? I don't really remember. Oh, so now I have all the bombs and all the keys that I need for this level. Please give me the hearts I need. Nope. But we can blow up stuff and... I mean, even the normal rocks sometimes have stuff in them. I think it's a low chance. Oh, mask. I'm pretty sure it reduces damage. It seems to block shots sometimes. It doesn't seem to block getting hit directly, though, so... I mean, in terms of defense, I guess we're pretty good. Uh, this is... I mean, it's a little annoying. Mostly the red fuckers around. Or not the red fuckers. The white... Demon eye looking things. Because they explode. And that one has a uh, ghost file protecting it. Get another I can see forever. Which I guess I'll use because... This room is uh, connected to both secret rooms. Come on. Just need to hit you with uh, Bob's brain. Totally missing that. Well, I hit, I think, one of the jumpers, which is not as cool, but whatever. I mean, it's not like I can actually lose anything to greed a value other than health, so they're pretty much just a normal enemy at this point. I need to land a Bob's brain, though, which is totally not happening. Don't want to land it that close, though. There we go, there's one. At that point, Bob's brain is not even worth it. And look, all the coins that I guess I will try to turn into hearts again. Which means my slot machine will probably do nothing. Yeah. Big load of nothing. Yep, all the nothings. Alright, might as well use a I Can See Forever. And Super Greed. So we'll get more coins that don't do anything for me. Plus, I had all the stuff he spawns. Just, I think, shoot. And I have a shield up, so if I just pick the right corner, I should be fine. 
think there's a chance of getting an item from him. Maybe like a dollar bill or something. Nope, more coins. Which will, again, try to change into hearts. Probably not getting any hearts. Bomb. Yep, uh, got nothing out of that. That's the power of, I guess, luck down. I don't know what that is. Both of it's faith up, though. So I guess I'll take the bigger thing. That, I mean, I don't know what it does. It's new. Could do something interesting. Ah! This is a uh, Wraith. Hmm. I wonder. I don't I haven't played Heaven in a while, but... Is Heaven just all the uh, deadly sins? Because it seems like it. So far, we fought two of them. I know, like, in... What do we call it? The chest? You'll fight a lot of sins, but I don't remember whether that was true for Heaven as well. I thought Heaven had just sort of, like, random enemies. Or random boss style enemies. Come on, just hit you with a bob brain. It's easier with the little ones because they seem to chase you a little more. The big ones tend to just put bombs near you and then run away. Oh, also, since these blocks can't be destroyed by bombs, I guess it gives me some cover. But also, it makes it easy harder for me to set up just spamming the shit out of them. Oh, another troll bomb. Oh, that one's a chaser. Come on. Now, I'm fairly sure these shots... I'm not sure if they orbit around me or they just get my momentum. But I think they orbit around me. Because I, I will move to the left and stop. And it seems like it stabilizes to just be around me. But not for sure. It could just be a shot with a set path to go around me. That, uh... Ooh. Well, with all my bombs, that's not bad with a set path so it just looks like it uh looks like it's revolving around me because I shot so many shots and anyway, let's explore the rest of this place we could just totally leave and I'm fairly sure we can totally beat Isaac ah these skulls you totally blow them up and usually there's stuff in them sometimes some uh, spirit hearts sometimes some cards so far we're getting a card and I think that's a dark heart does the world heal me? No, it does not. It just reveals everything on the map. I'm thinking of the sun, which reveals me. Or heals me. The world also doesn't tell you what's in the room. No, that's not as cool. Oh, more homing anuses. There go. Okay. I really do hope we... I think to get to the chest, I need to do all the endings first. Yeah, I told totally him want to go to the chest. With all these new items, I think the chest would be a lot of fun. But I think to go to the chest, I have to go see all the other endings first. So, I've really only seen Kill Mom. Uh, I guess technically I haven't even seen the ending for Killing Mom's Heart. Because, yeah, we killed her, but we didn't go to the ending. So, we'll see what happens. These are... Envy? No. Envy is the one that splits up. They're not... Gluttony, because Gluttony is the fat one that shoots a laser out of his stomach. Maybe... No, they're not Greed. Greed is the cash one. What, is, what are these guys? Maybe Sloth? Yeah, these guys might be Sloth. Totally not Lust. I know what Lust uh, looks like. I guess, yeah, it has to be Sloth. Or Wraith? Is there a... Uh... No, Wraith was the bombs. That's right, we totally beat him. Nope, no, another full bomb. Alright, so far it seems like all the ends are just one of the sins. And these are... Oh, I don't know what these are. Envy? No, I think Envy's the one that splits up in a bunch of stuff. Where are these guys? Ah, oh, I don't know what they're called. Okay, what are the seven deadly sins? We have Lust. Wraith. Uh, three? No, we totally killed Greed. That's the coin. I'm actually thinking of the... Thinking through the movie 7, trying to remember who died. I don't remember who the first victim was, though. I totally remember the prostitute and the banker who had to give up his flesh. Ooh, son. Heal me. The devil is increased damage, which isn't bad. 
I don't really need, uh, what you call it? I can see everything because I've already, this is the last level, I believe. Without a Polaroid, I can't go to the chest. Totally can't remember all the seven sins. Anyway, at this point, I'm pretty sure all the other ones are just other sins. So let's just, uh, beat the game. Ah, I remember, I think I had a terrible, terrible idea here involving trying to knock that out with a bomb. And it kind of works. The problem is I can't act really consistently shoot that thing. So it's, it's a, kind of awkward. Yeah. I think I tried it. Yeah, I was trying to shoot it in. Totally knocked it back in the center again. Come on. Nope. Yeah, if I had normal shots, it'd be a lot easier. Here's the worst part. The reason it knocked it back in is because one of the uh, circle shots actually knocked the bomb the wrong way. Uh, plus, I have plenty of bombs. I can do this forever. What I don't have is plenty of health. So I think at this point, it probably would have been easy for me just to run and grab it. There we go. A little closer. Nope, that's not how you do that. Oh, I remember what I was trying to do. I was trying to do two bombs at once to propel the first bomb with the second, or the sec second bomb with the first bomb. Did not work. Oh, that's really close. All right, that's probably close enough. So let's see what we get for all our bombs. It's been about probably 15 or 20 bombs. Coins, all the coins. And continually not getting anything useful for said coin. I think the slot machine probably was a great idea, you know, if I had uh, higher luck, but in this case, no, it's, it, did, it did not work out for us. Granted, we didn't have, really have any better spacebar items. If I had the, uh, was it the charging laser thing? Told he would use it. Didn't have that. Anyway, fighting Isaac, which is uh, simple. Like, that thing doesn't matter. I do need to get closer if I want to use my shots to hit him, though. But I don't want to be so close that I get bombed or hit in the back by this weird spiral pattern. Pretty sure that's a new pattern. Oh, Isaac's up. And I hit myself with my own bomb. Now we do have to dodge a little bit more since lasers and those things spawn. But those things mostly just shoot shots anyway. So if we angle it right, we should be okay. At this point, I'm pretty much just trying to survive and hit him with uh, Bob's brain. This is also new. New pattern. At least I'm fairly sure it's a new pattern. But it seems like in the bottom corners, there's usually a spot to hide in. Usually. Not always. You may have to ro run along the bottom. Yep, just run along the bottom and hit. Usually dodge it. Alright, I think maybe two more volleys. Granted, we need Bob's brain back still. Come on. Uh, nope. He left. And come on. There we go. Perfect. So, we beat Heaven. Uh, this is the first time I actually played on Binding of Isaac Rebirth. That's pretty cool. I don't like these ending cutscenes. The style just doesn't match like the rest of the game art style, so it looks weird. And that chest has a weird dimension to it. Like the lines aren't doing perspective right or something. But either way, that's Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It is basically Binding of Isaac bigger, better, and a lot of fun. If you like the original, I would totally get it. It's so fun. It's not even the terrible, terrible imagery that makes it fun. The mechanics are just solid. Really nice. Either way, though, that's it for me. Hope you liked this video, and we'll be back next time. And of course, thank you very much for watching.